arts and crafts, yay. Okay, today's art and craft is leather drawing. Like Professor Oak's face here. Okay, so I took a pencil, drew Professor Oak, and if I didn't like it, you know, I could just take a wet sponge and erase it at the pencil step. After that, you take something like this putty knife and you score along the outside edge. More to come. Okay, so here's a good point for a pro tip. You want to go actually get letter stamps. Don't hand carve that stuff like an idiot. And while you're getting stamps, don't get the crappy ones off of Amazon unless you have an excessive need for stamping flowers and butterflies. Okay, that's the carving. Alright, so when you're getting your stamps, you want texture squares and eggs. Alright, you're going to watch out because leather smushes, so keep your scoring tool out so you can reframe your lines a little bit. But anyway, you're going to take your texture tool, you're going to lay it right along the lines you've scored, and you're just going to go tap tap, tap tap, tap tap, tap tap, until you've added texture all the way around. Just walk it around the shape. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, putting some water on the leather will make it softer, more supple, more easy to cut and tear, so you're definitely going to want to do that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So, don't worry about the smudginess, you know, like it looks like a lab beaker blew up in his face or something, but I'm not worried about that, we're going to stain it in just a bit here. Oh boy. Now there are professional leather stains, but... We're not going to do that. We are going to use a little bit of Super Sheen to clear coat it after the damage, but saw on Google that some people say you can use food coloring, so we're going to give that a go. When they say to use vinegar to help it stick, I'm sure they mean white vinegar, but I prefer balsamic. Just a little disclaimer, you probably want fresh art supplies. I assume this McCormick dye is actually older than I am. I, I grew up in a loving household, but not a very fun one. We never colored our food. No green eggs and ham. So anyway, I assume you want more dye than vinegar, but you know, just get in there. Alright, so far so good. The red goes on kind of like an ink more than a paint because it absorbs in. You know, it bleeds a little bit, just be uh, careful of that. And pro tip, if you're going to make symmetrical sections, make sure you count that in advance. Alright, uh, well, time for the blue. Okay, so your project is now ruined, and it looks like pus. No, I'm just kidding. So I used vegetable stain to get on all the darker stuff. You really want to get deep into the recesses. Use water to water it down a little bit to get lighter areas like his hair. And now we wait for it to dry. This is looking a little better, you know, ideally we'd let it dry fully overnight, but you know, it's been like, it's, it's been like an hour, it's an hour, yeah, an hour, Princess Pride there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and do our super sheen. And right, we're going to take this and dab, you know, a little, oh, oh, with it, and uh, you know, you don't want to scrub out those deep recessed areas, it is like sticking to his face, what the heck? Now a lot of the stains hopefully going to come up. It's going to you're going to see it in your little super sheen fluid. It's going to get up in your cup and make a mess of everything. You'll be like, "Oh no, I'm ruining it." You know, and the answer is yeah, probably, but you know, don't worry about it. Just go ahead with it. Hopefully we just get residual off the food coloring. Also something you might want to employ here is uh the people. No, uh, me. Uh you want to take your little dabbler stack and uh just, you know, liquid it up and then maybe take a little uh whoo hot day there. I can't think of a single joke to make right now, but um, just wait for it to dry. It's still a little shiny, but it's pretty much dry, you know, could have could have gone darker on those outside lines. I didn't want to lose the letters, but you can see his eyebrows is, you know, what we could have done there. Clear coat's always gonna make your colors get a little different, funky, but uh, I'm not sure if I should go darker or lighter to get more blue. Kind of turned into like a sea foam turquoise, which is cool, but uh, the real test is time, so we shall see. Anyway, you can follow these steps, make one of these for your special someone, get yourself a slap.